looking and staring at that light. And then all of a sudden, I felt like a force pulling me from my chest, like upwards, like like a gravitational force or like a magnet or something like that. I can't really explain it. It just started to pull me from my chest upwards towards that light where the, the rays are like touching my face. And I was just heading there towards the light. It was pulling me from my, from my chest and I was just heading there. And then as, as I was heading towards the light, all of a sudden, I turned my head to my right hand, looking over. God bless you, Klanai family, and welcome back. It is so great to see you here again on the channel, and I truly hope that you have been blessed by many of the videos that are being shared here on the channel daily. I am Amber, the creator and the narrator of the Cloud9 Blessings YouTube channel that is all about encouragement. It's about sharing dreams and visions, but most importantly, the gospel that can be found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. In this video today, we're going to be looking at a submission from our dear brother in Christ, Daniel, who wanted to share this powerful experience with all of us. So I now invite you to come with me on a journey as we explore into our brother in Christ experience. And I truly pray that it will leave you feeling like you are on cloud nine. So let's go. Stop. Please don't scroll. I've got something very important to share with you. Something that happened to me like uh, last year, uh, beginning of December um, end of November, something like that. I don't quite remember when it happened. Uh, but uh, here it is. Uh, finally decided to share this with you because I was very scared. But I finally made the courage to do so. So here, here it goes. <sighs> it was a normal day. I was just, you know, getting ready to go to bed. You no, know, said my prayers. I went to bed. <sighs> and then as I was sleeping, I woke up at some point during the night and I found myself in a place full of light everywhere. There was like light everywhere, like a white light, wherever you will look, all light around me. And believe me, this is, wasn't like a dream. It felt like, like a very, very real because I could sense and see clearly all the things that were there. Uh, so it wasn't like foggy, like in a dream or such. Uh, so I was looking around and I was like, oh, where I am? What is this place? And I was uh, sitting there. One thing that I also noticed besides the all light, it was just light, nothing else. All light everywhere. As, and uh, as I was just sitting there, I've noticed that I was feeling very, very, very calm and peaceful, like blissful, like all the stress and all the worries, all the pain in the world have gone like vanished completely, entirely. I was like very, very clear, I had so much clarity and I was feeling so at ease and peaceful and blissful. I was like, wow, where I am? What is happening to me? As I was standing there, I looked up I was looking up and there was like a portion there of light, like a, like a sun, like sun rays, like touching my face, but it wasn't like, it wasn't the sun because we all know the sun is like round and it's got the rays around it. This was just like all rays going around, so blissful and peaceful. It was touching my face and I was like, wow, what is happening? And I was looking, I was, I was, how I was looking towards that light. It had no temperature. It was like hot. It did not burn my eyes or anything. I could clearly look at it. And I was just looking and staring at that light. And then all of a sudden, I felt like a force pulling me from my chest, like upwards, like, like a gravitational force or like a magnet or something like that. I can't really explain it. It just started to pull me to from my chest upwards towards that light where the, the rays are like touching my face and I was just heading there towards the light 
was pulling me from my from my chest and I was just heading there. And then as, as I was heading towards the light, all of a sudden I turned my head to my right hand, looking over my shoulders. And there he was, <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <sighs> he was just standing right there, like one meter away from me. Sitting there just looking at me, just straight like just looking at me and I was looking at him. And we were just looking at each other, I don't know, for like a minute or so, like a minute. We kept looking at each other and he didn't say one thing. I knew instantly it was Jesus. Straight away, as soon as I saw him, I knew it was Jesus. Our Savior. He had like a nice mustache, beard, nice, pretty long but shortish hair, just rating on his like neck, so beautiful, it was like in a white robe, like a long shirt, not robe, like a, like a long white shirt, and we just there, like looking at me with a straight face, wasn't like smiling or laughing or being angry or upset, he was just looking at me straight, I don't know, like, Something like that. And he looked at me and as I was looking to each other, it was just me and him, Jesus there. And then all of a sudden, imagine like as he was looking at me, he turns his head up and looks at that light that was pulling me towards it. And I, I was, I was, I was looking at Jesus. I was just pulling towards that light like very, very fast. And then it felt like it absorbed me, like that light, like, like absorbed me entirely. And when it, it did absorb me, like I woke up all of a sudden, like in my bed, like looking around, I was like, oh, I'm in my bed. But for like two or three seconds, I still had like that blissful feeling, that peace of peace and a stressless like feeling. And then I just couldn't stop smiling. I was like, oh. Jesus revealed himself to me. Oh, I just couldn't stop smiling. And then I felt like all over my chest, like 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 very warm, like my entire chest were, were like very warm everywhere. And I was just sitting there in the moment, just trying to take it all in. Oh, Jesus, our God, the only true God. Our Savior. So please. I finally managed to get this shared to you. So I'm begging you, please. Turn yourself to Jesus. Wow, Brother Daniel, that was so incredible. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. What a lovely experience. And the fact that you had the Lord there with you and he revealed himself to you is so amazing. Must have been such an incredible experience. And I'm sure when you woke up, as you were mentioning, it was like, wow, I just saw him. How beautiful. I loved it. I loved all the details you were sharing, especially when you were talking about those beautiful rays of light that were moving above you. And you felt that pull to go up toward that light. And that definitely sounds like a rapture right there, because we know that we will be pulled up. We will be taken up to meet the Lord in the air. As it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 through 18, and you were sharing just that feeling of being pulled up, and then you saw the Lord, and he was just looking at you in his presence. Oh, that must have been so amazing. And you shared the details of what he looked like, but he was just looking at you, 
focused on you and you focused on him. And I do believe that that strongly says right there that we should always stay focused on the Lord right now. It is such an important time to be focused on the Lord, especially with everything that is happening throughout the world, because we were told in the Bible that there would be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and also that there would be wars and rumors of wars, famines, plagues, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places that are happening right now now. And I do believe that the Lord is so desperately wanting to wake up people out of their slumber, to turn to him, to seek him, to seek the word of God, to seek a relationship with him, because he is coming so very soon. He doesn't want anyone to perish, but to come to him and to seek him. And he can give everyone the best gift. And that is the free gift of salvation in 1 Corinthians 15, one through four. And this experience here, brother, I'm sure it will wake up many people who are in a slumber to see that the Lord does exist. He is there. He is around us always. And he is revealing himself to many people right now. He's even revealing himself to many people in different countries, in different religions. And many are turning from their religion and going to the Lord. They are seeking the Lord and they're becoming Christians. Praise God. It's such an exciting time to be alive. Amen, brothers and sisters. And I'm sure, brother, that this video will bless many people who see it today. And I truly thank you for wanting to share it with all of us. Please type in the comments box, we fly soon. Please type we fly soon because we are about to fly up to meet the Lord in the air and to be with him for an eternity. So before I go ahead and close out this video, I do want to say a prayer for all of you. I know that many of you are possibly in areas where hurricanes have hit. I truly have you in all of my prayers. I also have many of you in my prayers that are in Israel right now and also throughout the world that the Lord continues to protect you and guides you in these perilous times that we are living in. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to take this time to pray for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ from around the world. I ask that you will continuously protect them in body, soul, spirit, and give them the discernment and wisdom that they need right now. Because we see that we are not living in easy times right now, Heavenly Father. But we are putting our faith and trust in you because we know that you are the only one that can get us out of this wicked world that we are currently living in. I also ask that you answer the prayer requests for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ, whether they be for their health, for the salvation of a loved one and a friend, for the lost, for those that are sick right now, or those who have made their prayer requests made known unto you, Heavenly Father. I ask that you please answer them. They love you so very much and are looking forward to the moment that they can see you in the air and thank you personally for dying on the cross for their sins. I also want to pray right now for my brothers and sisters in Christ in Israel, Heavenly Father, that you will also protect them, especially as we are seeing many of the enemies surrounding your homeland in Israel, Heavenly Father. We know how much you love your land and how much you love your people, Heavenly Father, and we will continue to pray for all of them there, Heavenly Father, because we know that you see everything, you know everything, and that you are in full control. I love you so very much, Heavenly Father, and I can't wait to hear that shofar blast and be called up to meet you in the air. And I say this in your precious and holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for taking the time to watch this video today. And until next time, may God bless you all and have a very blessed week.